Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a, a little review on these titanium rings. Yes, these two titanium rings I just got um, not too long ago in the mail and uh, I love them, I've been wearing them and I want to do a review on them, just show you guys and talk about them a little bit in case you're interested in something like this. Now of course, I'm calling this a gear review for simplicity, but it's not really gear so much as it is like apparel, I guess. It's, it's, it serves a purpose that a normal ring would serve, it's just to look good. That's all it is, and it's of course personal opinion, some people won't think it looks good, but I happen to really like them. And what prompted me to get these rings is I wanted, I, I, I've kind of been tinkering with the idea of getting a titanium ring anyway, and when I saw Nick's work, uh, I fell in love with it. It was really clean, simple, straightforward, and I really liked it. The ring you see here is the only ring I ever actually wore. I'm not like a huge jewelry person, uh, I don't have my ears pierced, I don't you know, have any earrings or anything like that. Um, I don't have any other piercings. Um, I do wear a watch, obviously. Not all the time, but occasionally we wear a watch. But when I got into uh, silver and gold and precious metals and stuff, I had purchased this ring, which is uh, sterling silver. And of course, you see it has the iron crosses on the outside. And the inside of the band, it says sterling, 925. But anyway, uh, I love this ring. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. And I just like the design. I saw it on eBay. <laughs> I ended up uh, getting it for a pretty good price. And, um, you know, I used to wear it just like this on my hands. And, come on, focus. There we go. I got to tickle the camera. Give it a little tickle. Um, and, I, you know, I just kind of thought it looked good. It, you know, it's personal preference. Some people don't like it. Some people do. I like wearing it on my pointer finger or... Um, on my middle finger if I were to wear a ring. I don't, I'm not married or anything, so I don't want to wear it on my ring finger, and I don't know, I just don't wear rings on my pinky. It just seems a little off. Uh, maybe when I become an old man, I'll get the diamond, the big fat diamond, uh, you know, pinky ring. But anyway, yeah, generally speaking, if I'm gonna wear something like this, I would just wear it on my pointer finger like that, and it's just for looks. It's the only purpose at all it serves. Uh, and I like this ring, but obviously, as you can see, it's way too big. I mean, it barely fits on my thumb. Just goes to show how much... <laughs> when you lose weight, you lose it everywhere. Here's what... It used to fit my finger just fine, and you can see all the empty space in there. I believe this is like a size 16 ring. Alright, so I had to actually remeasure my fingers for these, and these fit perfectly on my pointer finger. And apparently I wear a size 13 ring now. But anyway, I wanted to review these because I like this thing and I missed it. But I wanted something titanium. Obviously, titanium is very popular, you know, knives and money clips and pens and this, that, and the other thing. It's just, it's fun, it's cool. Um, I like the, the designs of these and I was talking to Nick about it a little bit. So I want something plain on the outside, but I want a little bit of a twist. So this is what we came up with together. By the way, here's his, uh, his card. I'll put links in the description box for you. But there it is, Woo Metalworks. And Nick does some really cool stuff. Oh, my thumb's on the info on the bottom there. But, uh, yeah, I'll have some clickable links so you can check out his, uh, his work. He does do custom knives. He does do um, sheath work and stuff like that. But, like I said, I was most interested in the rings. So, I got two different ones. I don't need these bags anymore. I'll rip that out. And I love them both. And two different ones for two different kind of occasions. Now the first one here, I wanted like a really smooth, high polished um, exterior. Very clean, crisp, there's nothing going on here. It's just a titanium ring. All right, when it's on the finger anyway. And that's basically the look I was going for. This is kind of a, I guess, dressier look. You know, I'd wear this with a nice watch. But um, on the inside here, it's uh, anodized, and you know what, actually, let me, and this uh, zoomed in a little bit, so let me back up just a little bit here to get a better macro shot. Might be hard to see with this lighting, but I'll probably add some pictures in here. It's a really beautiful uh, anodization on the inside here. A lot of gold tones, a little bit of uh, purple, a little bit of blue, kind of the whole spectrum on the inside. But it's only on the inside, all right, and when the ring's on, you don't see it at all. And what I like about this ring, it's extremely comfortable. I wanted a, a crisp, clean, straight look on the outside, so I didn't want it rounded like a wedding ring or anything, because it's not. But on the inside, it's contoured, okay? 
all around the inside so it's extremely smooth and when you slip it on you can actually just you can feel how it's beveled on the inside so it's extremely comfortable but on the outside you have the abrupt kind of corners they're not sharp or anything everything's finished real nicely and polished up extremely comfortable obviously fits me you know how I want it to fit and it's just just for looks just a ring pretty neat and on the inside it does say titanium and I'll probably show that better in a picture but it says it right there you can get a little macro shot might be hard to see with the glare but yeah on the inside it just says titanium that's all both rings say the same thing it's actually upside down maybe you'll see some of that coloring in there yeah, yeah you can kind of see it right there but anyway the other ring which I like even more like I really like how this one came out and it's got like I said just a clean look to it but I love this one this one's really cool first thing you notice is that I wanted some texturing on this one okay so you can see the pattern there and of course you can see it right away the coloring on this one on the interior of the ring is a beautiful beautiful sapphire blue it's really really nice and when it's on the finger you don't even see the color at all it's just I happen to know it's there and when I take it off of course something I can look at but I really like it again same deal it's all contoured extremely smooth and comfortable on the inside and you know it's just for looks I think it looks nice and uh, the best part about these is that I mean you know with titanium jewelry you can you can get up there with that cost it doesn't always have to be expensive but Especially if you're getting something custom done uh, and requesting certain things for your your rings or, or you know titanium jewelry or accessories and stuff, it can get a little costly. Um, Nick charges anywhere from twenty bucks to forty five dollars for the rings, depending on what you want, how elaborate, what kind of finish, and stuff like that. So you can always you know send them a message to uh, figure out what you're looking for. But uh, really affordable, really cool. I like the uh, the craftsmanship. Just a little piece of artwork. That's all. Like I said, it doesn't have a specific purpose. It's not for uh, the zombie apocalypse. It's not for um, <laughs> for shooting guns better or you know knives cutting better or anything like that. It's just kind of an accessory to look nice. So I figure you know if I'm wearing, I'm actually getting into um, you know some nicer clothing. Like just on a random random day, I'm trying to get pieced together a nice suit, and I can't go out and just get you know a thousand dollar suit or something. But you know I'm saving up a little bit and getting a nice shirt here and then you know saving up getting a little tie there and not even for like a special occasion just one day out of the blue just get dressed up because sometimes when you get dressed up you walk a little taller you feel really good about yourself you know you're looking good you know there's no shame in that and so I'm thinking about different like accessories like maybe get a nice uh, um, tie clip or something or or nice cufflings and something like this like a little accessory just having a ring you know matches with kind of a nice watch a stainless watch or even a titanium watch something like that so yeah I mean I'm not specifically a jewelry person per se but I tinker with everything you guys should know that by now you know some days I'll, I'll want to wear titanium rings the next day I'll have no interest at all and I'll put them in drawer and I'll rediscover them next month and go oh yeah these are awesome and I'll wear them again so I go back and forth with everything but uh, I will take some close-up shots of these because uh, this this video particularly is not giving it justice on the inside that the uh, anodizing is beautiful I believe it's uh, heat anodized which is nice, you get a little bit more of a spectrum as opposed to uh, um, electrically anodizing stuff. That's more of a, a you know, specific um, voltage is going to give you a specific color and it's usually more consistent. Depending on what you're doing, if you're anodizing like a flashlight or something, you know, or some titanium for a knife and you want a specific color, that's the way to go. But generally speaking, a lot of people do the uh, heat anodizing. It's a little bit easier and you do get kind of the array of colors. This one, although it's the majority of it's sapphire blue, there are a little bit of greens in there. You know, in this one, like I said, the majority of it's gold on the inside, but you do pick up uh, some different colors, like some reds and purples and a little bit of the blue in this one as well. But really, really cool. Like I said, love this ring. Missed it, but can't wear it anymore. It's too big. Even for my thumb. It's just too big. So maybe I'll put this on a, a necklace or something to make it like a pendant. Because I do like it. It's cool. It's really cool. I always like the Iron Cross. I don't have any tattoos. But uh, I have one that's, uh, I actually have three or four different tattoos that I drew and I figured one day if I ever got a tattoo, it'd be my own artwork. And one of them is an awesome, awesome, at least I think it is, uh, something I drew in uh, seventh grade. 
and it's got it's based off the uh, Iron Cross, you know, because I have German heritage and you know it's the uh, symbol of uh, bravery and blah blah blah. I won't bore you with that stuff, but it means something to me. But it's one of those things where sometimes people can get confused and they'll they'll take it for <laughs> meaning something completely different, which is. I don't know sometimes that can happen where you have you have a specific idea whether it's a tattoo or a picture or even if you're wearing a shirt with a logo on it and you have one purpose for it but then people take it the wrong way so obviously there's some negative connotation around iron crosses and of course Nazi Germany and stuff like that there's no correlation there but I just like it for its its actual historical value and and you know what it really is supposed to mean but anyway yeah I love this ring I missed it I'm so glad I hooked up with Nick and I uh, got these made very affordable and I couldn't be happier with the uh, the results super comfortable to wear which is most important I, if it's gonna be uncomfortable or digging into you or hard to get on and off and stuff you're certainly not gonna want to wear them but just pretty neat so you might see this in part of future EDC's depending on what I'm doing but anyway that's all so thanks for watching guys here's a quick little slideshow of some pictures hope you enjoy the rest of your day take care